Hi, I'm Tony, this is Slack, welcome to Smog Vlog. Today we're going to be reviewing this. The Reaper Plus from iJoy, for your joy, for our joy, ribbed for her pleasure. I thought we weren't saying ribbed. <laughs> <laughs> And back in the room, like we said, Reaper, apparently, Reaper Plus. This is iJoy's um, competitor, uh, what they're throwing into the ring against sort of like the Crown and the Heracles, Heracles, did yeah, you say? Heracles yeah, yeah. Plus. Um, so we're going to find out how it does later on in the review, but for now, let's dive down and give you an unboxing. Right, let's unbox the Reaper Plus from iJoy. So a quick tour around the outside, you can see your coils. I'm guessing that's the RBA head and there's a coil that comes with a coil in it. There's the tank itself and a spare glass. Uh, you can see the claps and coils that it comes with. Uh, also stainless steel wire. So around the rest, uh, you've got a scratch and sniff down there, delivery sticker getting in the way there. Um, just some blurb about the stuff, all of the bits you get inside. So let's pop it open. One spare screw. There's our coils, spare tank seals, very tiny. Um, Allen key there, teeny teeny, and other spare screws. It's made of screw, too good for your home. Some tasty treat. That's cotton, by the way. So, lifting up the top cap and filling it, close off the hole before refill. Wait, we've seen this before, this is the cryos. Okay, gloss over that. <laughs> simply squirt your favourite juice into the hole at least it says the hole not her hole but you know there we go anyway let's have a look at the device itself right so here we are here's our reaper plus so you turn this and you can see the juice intake on the go awkwardly turn this uh, it's very stiff when it's not in a unit uh, and that will adjust your airflow in there uh, airflow at the top, juice fill, yeah, nice sort of silicon band round there. Uh, drip tip, removable, very cheapy plastic lightweight. Uh, if that's your thing, you'll love it. I don't already. I know I'm not going to like it. Going down the bottom, flat 510 connector. Fairly nice but not too deep screw threads. Looks very clean and tidy. The whole thing looks nice and clean and tidy actually. Okay, we're into our coils. So you can see the juice chamber all closed up there. So here's our first coil that comes pre-fitted. This is the 0.4 ohm, 35 to 100 watt. This will be the Canthal coil. You also have the very similar 0.3 watt, which is the stainless steel coil. Uh, in fact, how you tell the difference apart without coloured bands is going to be a pain, not as cool as some. But there you go. Uh, and here's our RBA section for you rebuilders out there. Unscrews, look at that. Velocity deck, look at that. Do you know, I might like this one. I'm not a fan of little RBA sections, but you've got proper... It's just like the Cryos, a cut down Cryos. A lot of this is, to me, like the Cryos because I saw that first. Um, anyway, it comes fairly clean, but let's clean it all up and uh, see what it's got. Cheers, Slack, for that unboxing video. Informative, as always. Now, let's talk about coil options. Okay, so as we've seen, it comes in the box with a 0.4 Canthal coil, a 0.3 stainless steel 316 coil, which is pretty cool, and also obviously that RBA section, more on that later. There's a whole host of coils that you can get for this, which is really good. You get the option for a 0.2 ohm Clapton inner dual coil head, coil head English. Uh, you also get a 0.5 ohm dual coil Clapton outer head, you know, 
all about the wicking baby um more importantly you, you can also get your nickel um don't know about titanium yet but hopefully that will be coming uh but most importantly for me it, ceramic coils icc ceramic coils yeah so ceramic coils are my new favorite thing you know uh, the vipresso target is just amazeballs you get so much extra flavor from that you know i, I was very skeptical i just thought it's gonna be a marketing bullshit you know and yeah it's really not uh so we don't have those but we are going to get some and get them all reviewed up so we'll let you know in an update but for now we're going with the stuff that you get in the box and yeah we like what we get it's good the Canthal core works really well. The stainless steel works really good on TC. It performs admirably, it, even up to ridiculous wattage for that, you know, pre-punch in there. It works really well. Yeah, impressive. An impressive selection. For her pleasure. The other thing that's included in the package is, like we said earlier, the RBA section. And it's, it's, it's nice. I mean, it's fairly small for, for what it is. You'll get 24 gauge in there nicely 22 maybe at a push but you know we've uh, we've done an up close for you so let's dive down and have a quick look at that for you now right let's have a very quick look at the rba section the rba2 so it's uh, a bit of an unusual one where it unscrews you know we're fairly used to the screw on ones but as you've seen in the unboxing you've got these fairly sizable velocity posts there now that's 26 gauge wire in there can't currently uh, you can see there's easily enough room I reckon you could fit 22 in but you are going to probably have some issues wicking it wicking it is fairly easy but does need a little bit of getting used to as with all RBA sections of this type you know these little tiny ones um, you got your air delivering right under your coils and yeah once you've got it how you like it it's actually pretty good I'm not a particular fan of this type of RBA now, if you're going to do it, just have an RCA, but I love having the option. I think that's pretty mandatory. So looking down the bottom, you've got the base here, which is going to screw into your ATI. So let's do that now. Here's our ATI, uh, nearly out of juice, which is good. Juice flow control closed off. And hopefully empty. Okay, you see I'm already wearing tons of juice. We'll take our 0.4 canthal out, a little bit stiff in there, aided by the fact that I'm covered in juice now. He's a beast, a uh, very wet beast. I'm going to need to clean that up first. Right, without further ado, juice removed. So you've got this bit, that is going to go down onto your centre pin you can see in there, gold plated, nice. In she goes, give it a nice tight screw. Um, and then, yeah, usually I'll give it a little wipe about in there where the seal is. I'm, I'm not going to bother this time. Most of that has already leaked everywhere. Um, screw it down and we're good to go. Right, so we've got the RBA section in. Just changed juice. We have some juice in there. There's not a lot of space between the RBA section and those juice fill holes. You know, it's quite tight in there. Tight like a tiger. Right, let's give it a hit and see what we think. Yeah, good clouds. Flavours coming through. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a fan of building on those tiny little RBA things, I have to admit. It's, but I do like the fact that they're there. This guy used to like rebuilding stock coils for the Kanger stuff. You know, he's crazy about that. So this is like working in a palace for him. But for me, <laughs> it's just like, oh, give me a dripper any day. But, you know... It does the job, it works really well, I find it quite easy to wick, you know, minimal amount of fiddling. As with all of these, you are going to need to fiddle, but, you know, minimal fiddling works. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Good. Good. So, on to airflow. For this Atty, it is absolutely brilliant. It gives a really, really good draw. On the face of it, though, next to the Solito, Cleto. Cletus. Clitoris, yeah, um, looks a bit shameful, but yeah, yeah. I mean, the Clito has definitely changed the goalposts for airflow. You know, if is is they, they say tempestuous, it really is. It is awesome. So you know, next to that, 
it is obviously not as good as that. However, with just the base airflow sort of wide open, it's really easy to do a direct lung hit. There's a little bit of resistance there, but not too much. It's, it's not uncomfortable, that's fine. And you've also got this wicked top airflow, so just under the drip tip there. Now this goes into a chamber, twin skin down into your, near your coils, so you don't really lose much flavor as well. And you, yeah, you can really control the two by you know adjusting it. I really like that adjustment. I like the fact that you're not losing flavour from it. And I think they've done a really good job with the airflow here. I couldn't agree more. That that top airflow control where it goes down the chamber with the twin skin chamber so that you're not losing any flavour and you're still getting some wicked clouds from it. Brilliant design. Yeah, they've yeah, done good. Tank capacity for the device, that's going to be 3.8 millilitres. Now, it, it's quite a short unit, you know, to hear next to some of the other tanks out there. So it would have been nice to see it just a little bit bigger, you know, a little bit taller glass, a little bit more there. 10 mil? Well, just no, a bit. I, I'm not greedy, you know, a couple of mil, you know. So a lot of the space is taken up with this sort of juice control chamber down here. And it's only up near the very top that you get the sort of maximum amount of space in there. See, so another couple of mil at the top would have made quite a bit of difference, I think. However, it, it's perfectly fine. You're not refilling every five minutes, you know, maybe every six. But, yeah, 3.8 mil, there we go. On to ease of filling. Now, on paper, this should be fairly easy, but as experienced with like the likes of Cryos, it, you just need a little air bubble in there and it all goes fucking sideways and you're wearing your juice. Personally, I find this a bit worse than Cryos, um, a bit messier, you know. Still just as easy to fill up, but I just find I get in a bit more of a mess with this one over Cryos. Let's take a quick look at filling it up so you can see what I mean. Right, next thing we're going to need to do is refill her as she's getting low. So obviously with these things they recommend you close off your juice holes, which I've managed to unscrew while uh, putting it back together. You've got this little drip indicator here so you know which way to hold it when you flip it up. Here it is, you've got this sort of nice rubbery surround, which is a uh, good design on paper. Uh, however, the glass pipettes barely fit in, uh, and okay, that went pretty well this time. Usually what happens is you end up with an air pocket, uh, so it's gone everywhere, and we've got an air pocket here, if you can see that. Now, they're not too much of a problem, you can just sort of blow them and get rid of them, or, or just leave it, but regardless of what you do, you're going to end up covered in juice. Dirty. Uh, anyway, let's clean it up and give it a hit. Next up for you, sturdiness. Now, I've only had limited use of this device, but in my limited amount of use, I found it all right. But let's talk to the man in the know. Yeah, it is all right. Um, you know, it's, it's nice, it's well built. The only problem is um, where you've got the airflow control ring and the juice control, it, it just isn't quite as solid, quite as easy to screw down, quite as, as stable as a tank that doesn't have that. And that's inherent with all tanks like this. So I think they've done a good job with it. And, you know, it, I'm not worried about it falling apart or anything. So that's good. Uh, one thing I do like about in terms of sturdiness is the juice control is on or off. There's none of this freewheeling shit like you get on the Cryos, you know. It, it's just on or off and it, it clicks for a stop. And that's good. That side of things is sturdy. It's just this tighten it down. Certain mods, you, you're trying to tighten this tiny little ring under the airflow adjustment, under the juice control adjustment. It's, it's a little bit fiddly. And, and as a result, doesn't feel quite as secure as it could do. But it's not bad. It's, it's perfectly fine. I haven't had any problems with it. So, on to the drip tip. For the time that I've been using it, it's um, okay. I'll let this guy explain what it's made out of. I found it got a bit hot. Okay, well, I, I'm going to disagree with the bit hot, but yeah, it's a plastic drip tip. And it's little white plastic with this little sort of tiny sheet of metal over it, and I hate those drip tips. You know, the the Heracles had one of those drip tips, and, and they're just shit. I hate them. So when I saw it as one of them when I was unboxing, I was just like, bugger. Yeah, you know, I'm going to hate this. I'll just change it out. It's not a problem. However. Once I was using it, I forgot that it, it was that type of drip tip. It, it's a really good quality one. It's done well. So even though it's something that I don't like, it's, it's actually not an issue, which is really good. Now, I was like wondering why they would cheap out on a uh, drip tip like that. Now, this is where me and Tony disagree. 
we we were just sort of like torture testing this a, a minute ago and uh we were running 200 watts through it on temp control so we we're getting like a good second and a half maybe burst of 200 watts the tank got so hot it was literally burning hot i was probably close to pcb overheat on my mod and uh the drip tip yeah it was hot but not anywhere near as hot as the rest of the tank was the rest of the tank was like sort of too hot to touch comfortably the drip tip i could still put my lips to it you know and the, the rest of the tank i would not not once it got proper hot earlier on i did just to test the tank um so i personally think that you know this is quite a hot tank when, when you're chucking some power through it and it's a versatile tank so you are going to be potentially chucking some power through it there's a whole range of coils all the different tcs and whatever so yeah this if the tank gets hot plastic twin skin drip tip thing kind of helps to insulate it i reckon but yeah tony found it hot because he's sensitive i think you're right slack i do agree it does get fucking hot <laughs> on to the next subject. <laughs> so, on to flavour for you. It's really good and lovely and consistent. Why, well, Tony? Yeah, I mean, the flavour delivery on this thing is, is the same. Once you've got your juice in and had your first couple of hits to get it all sort of going, every hit you take delivers like a really good flavour. Now, after coming off the sea cell cores in the target, yeah, the flavour isn't as good as that. It never will be on Canthal alone, you know. Um, and so it's unfair to sort of compare that. But as tanks go, comparing it to the Crown, comparing it to the Heracles, um, it's just as good, you know. I, I've always thought those tanks have really good flavour, you know. As well as you've got all the coil options to make you what you want. Most importantly, ICC coils. So you've got ceramic coils, which we will be testing out, just not for this review. So, yeah, I'm happy with the flavour. You found it good? I found it very good. 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 Okay, on to vapour production. While Tony takes a hit, I'll let him do it now. Um, yeah, just like the flavour, it, it's really consistent throughout. Once you've got your coil in and your setting set, you know, um, it, it's really good. And it is very sort of, you know, consistent. So that's really cool. Now, it's not going to chuck as much clouds as your Cleto, you know, Um but it's kind of not designed to do that. It's more all round. You know, Cleto's all about airflow and clouds, I think. Um, whereas this, you know, not quite as good, but still really good. That's a temp control coil on like quite a cold temperature, and it's still chucking. Yeah, it's just great. Love it. Love it. So for vapor production, while it won't chuck as much vapor as you know the Cleto, it does have all them great airflow control things, so you can help you know, get it to how you want, and it does chuck some decent clouds. So yeah, all in for the vapor production. Next up, spits and swallows, leaks and spits. Well, yeah, as you've seen with filling, it is messy when you fill it. It doesn't leak per se, uh, unless you're an idiot like me once and leave the top open and then dump juice mysteriously everywhere. But, you know, it got sort of everywhere. We've all done that. We've all done yeah, that. Yeah, it happens. It was in the car. It was dark, you know. Um, aside from the uh, obvious user error, I have had a couple of problems with, with juice dumping into the base of the thing. You saw me clean it out earlier and... and I believe I've got a bit of a poor quality O-ring seal on that actual Canthal pre-built coil. And so juice would sort of seep through in, into the airflow chamber. Now, it didn't really come out of the airflow chamber, though I was occasionally finding the random little bits of juice that I thought, I'll clean this, where does that come from? But I think that's just a dodgy coil, you know. The, the, the problem is at the coil side with that one. The design itself, I, I think, is good. It sort of stands up to, you know, the sort of leak-free design, which which is nice. With the RBA section, that is exactly what you make of it. You know, there's always a bit of this mystic science with each RBA section you get, where you've got a, too much wick and it won't, you know, too much cotton, it won't wick properly, but it doesn't leak, and not enough, and it wick really well, but leaks everywhere. And it's just that fine balance. So the RBA section's going to be whatever you make of it, really. Spitting. How have you found spitting, Tony? She is a bit spitty. Oh, I don't think it is. I think only when you change coil. I think when you, you're up at high wattages, it, it will come in your mouth. But yeah, uh, I, I disagree. No? Oh, I, I I'll disagree. just whack this up to 200 then for you. Yeah, you go on then. Oh, I'm not, yeah, 310. 310. 310. 
slight taste in my mouth, slight, didn't feel anything going. Really good vapour production, really good flavour. So it's taking some design cues from the uh, Salito, in, in which case it's being a sneaky comer in your mouth. No, I don't think, look, have a go. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't need to have a go, because I've done exactly the same. I've, I've inhaled, maybe can actually detect when it's actually dumping its juice in my mouth. But, you know, it's not terrible. You just, you know, adjust accordingly. Yeah, see, I mean, having used this, I mean, one of my favourite, you know, sort of all-time sort of favourites has been the iJust 2, you know, with the 0.3 ohm coils in them. And that, I find, spits more than this does. Um, with this, yeah, when you put a fresh coil in or you've just sort of changed them about, the first few hits you get, you are going to feel it spitting at you. After that, I, I think it calms right down and it, it's just a good coil. It's on par with everything else that's out there, I, I, I think, you know, um... Yeah, I'm happy with it. I agree. Nextly, on to the 510 connector. Now, it's flat, it's gold, plated, probably plate. It's not yeah. screw adjustable. No. Nope. Which is... Mm, you're going to have to, you know, measure it and check for yourself. Yeah, which is fine. At last year, screw adjustable is like ideally sort of for mech things and, and you know, stuff that has that weird requirement. You wouldn't really want to be firing this on a mech, even though it's got an RBA section. It's not a big RBA section. That's not what it's designed for. It's the like, opposite is is the fact that you know it's nice to have it there. I, I agree. I, I'm, nice I'm saying it from that point of yeah, view. Yeah, no, it, I agree. It is a nice to have, and it's something I always prefer. But you know, this this one certainly does the job. Yeah. Also. The threads on the bottom of the 510, not the cleanest we've seen, but they do the job. Yeah, work perfectly fine, but yeah, they're, they're scrappy. Now, on to cost for you. It's about 25 quid, and for that, you're going to be getting the 0.3 stainless, the 0.4 canthal, and the RBA section. Yeah, which is pretty good value, really. Yeah. Um, cost of replacement coils, um, where you can find them, they're about 12 quid or so for a pack of five, which is a pretty decent price. Now, I haven't managed to find the ICC coils yet, so I'm not sure if they're just not about here. Um, but, you know, I haven't really looked hard, to be honest. Busy, busy. I would imagine they're going to come in a little bit more, but mm. we're going to be getting some of them. We'll give them a separate mini review or something, you know, a, a shout, uh, or maybe just vlog it. But yeah, cost-wise, I think it's pretty reasonable. Right, that's bringing us towards the end of the review. It's just time for us to sum up with pros and cons like we usually do. And as always, we're going to start with cons. Tony, what's number one? Juicy on the fill-in. Yep, goes everywhere, doesn't it? It really fucking you can, does. You can't avoid that. Plastic bottles with the needly tips, they're a lot better. Yeah. If you're actually using a syringe, you know, people still do it, and yeah. uh, that's going to be perfect. But certainly if you use bigger plastic or, or the glass droppers, you are going to get the, into a mess. The glass pipettes are, are primarily the problem because the, the, the air bubble will just form on the top there, and then it all just fucking turns into a complete fucking nightmare for you. Yeah, Tony did come up with a good idea about this. Why don't they put just a small air hole to the side? So, yeah, why don't you? Come on, iJoy. It, it's time. The world's ready for this shit. Anyway, on to the next con. RBA section. Now, I love that it includes an RBA section, but these things are never going to be amazing. If you're the sort of person like Tony who's quite happy to rebuild like them tiny pre-made coils, then this is a dream come true. But for me personally, they're just not great you know they can always be better so i kind of want to put that in cons but the fact that it's included is definitely a pro next con is going to be the uh, the fact that it didn't come in the deck the tank didn't come in a larger size like 3.8 mil you just want that little bit extra we always want that little bit extra yeah a couple of extra mil yeah oh yeah It'd definitely be nice so for me, the, the, there's a personal con, and I don't even know if it's a con, but it, it's certain. Uh, it's not a pro. So where the um, you got these juice sort of turning off you on and then you got your coils on the inside, and that fills with air as you use the juice out of it, and that's fine. But you end up with these air bubbles that just want to sit on the inside. Now that's sort of inherent with this design. And I get really annoyed that I have to spend ages, I probably don't have to, but I do spend ages like getting the bubbles to come out. I'm like they're like fucking lightsaber battling invisible enemies and, and look like more of a prick than usual. It's not really a con. But I needed to mention it and it probably not a pro. So anyway, yeah, that'll do. 
if any of you have played Chinese puzzle puzzle games with the little metal ball bearing inside a maze at Christmas time, usually they come in a fucking Christmas cracker. That's exactly what he's talking about. I I don't generally give a crap, but <sighs> it's not a battery door, so I've got to find something to bug me out. <laughs> Okay, next up on the cons list for you guys is uh, the airflow control valve or tightening the mod on, tightening the tank onto your mod, and the fact that it's just a bit tight. Uh, I don't know how to explain this properly. You have got the airflow control valve which just spins and spins and spins, and then you, you're trying to sort of like tighten, tighten the tank down onto your mod, and and you've got a spinny fucking air con airflow control valve. I mean, taking it off is a fucking nightmare. Putting it on is a nightmare, but. This, yeah. it's not e it's not the easiest thing. Yeah, it, it's not terrible. It's definitely not a showstopper, but you know, it's just something we noticed, and as always, we like to mention everything. You know, highly analytical. So yeah, it, it's a thing. Talking of things, uh, cleaning inside here. You know, I have to clean inside here occasionally, and the juice is pretty minging in there. You get some dirty juice. Um, yeah, the residue from it. Now, it, it's not a bad thing. A lot of the devices have this. It's just one of those things I noticed it happens quite a lot on the Canfield coils in this one. And lastly on the cons list, we've got a hot one for you, Tone. Yes, we've got a hot one for you. It gets hot. It does, very hot. When, when you, admittedly, when you're sort of chucking your power through it and stuff, the, the tank gets hot, you drip it. I think is all right because of the plastic two skin. However, it, it could be better, but that's you can tell why you haven't got a solid metal heatsink type drip tip to just you know radiate all of that heat into your face. So yeah, it is a hot tank, um, but it's a good tank. So without further ado, onto the pros. Let's. So first up on the pros is mega versatile. You've got an RBA section and two good coil options that come with it. Plus a load of other stuff as well available for it as well in in terms of coils. Yeah, tons of coil options, including those exciting ooh ICC ceramic coils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next up on the pros list for me, even though we were talking about it being a con because it's messy, this top side fill juice thing I really like. Now it's a design top fill is so much better than bottom fill, you don't have to take your atty off the thing, that way you're not reintroducing your hot atty to your mod and you know there's there's no sort of worries there. Top fill is definitely a lot easier, but you know when you're out for a vape, you know, stood outside, uh, you don't have to hold the lid of your, you know, your, your drip tip and everything else, it's just there, it's all one thing and then you done and you put it back together if only it wasn't so leaky you know that extra air hole could have been the the design difference i might pin this later to see if it helps um <laughs> but yeah i love it as a design yeah that is the way to go top side feel good next up is the uh, airflow control and the fact that you've got the dual airflow control mm. both at the base and at the drip tip as well but the drip tip obviously goes down inside the uh, the chimney uh twin skin chimney straight through your coils yeah, it's through down to just above your coils, yeah. So, so, yeah, no, it's really good. So, I mean, it's very similar sort of positioning to something like the TFV4, which which has a, in about that far down. You also have it, but that goes straight into the drip tip mm. itself and just adds additional air in, takes away a little bit of the flavour. I found where it was, yeah, this really doesn't. It's it's a good design. They've done well. So next up, juice flow. Fuck it. <clears throat> <laughs> smooth <laughs> the juice flow is on a control valve which is just on and off and it's not freewheeling right the way around which is a complete fucking nightmare and it's controlled by sort of like the middle section which is absolutely fucking brilliant excellent yep really easy to use and yeah now that freewheeling shit like with the cryos where you just don't know what's going on it works really well the fact that it's got one is really good you know yeah. and uh considering you can use just sort of pre-made coils you don't usually get that on a pre-made coil tank so yeah it is nice to have that and uh i think more devices should have it and lastly uh, despite ragging on it earlier the rba section the fact that you get that rba section included in there is really good so you know the cost of canthol and like a bit of cotton is really really cheap so if you're someone who likes to do that sort of rebuilding this, this makes this like a really really good really cheap sort of option so the u world crown that came out at about 30 quid round about 28.99 something like that you were paying in the uk 
and you had to pay another tenner to get the RBA section. Now, at the time, that, that was great, though. Crown was one rag on that too much, but at the same time, 25 quid, and you get that RBA section sort of thrown in. If they were charging a tenner, that's 15 quid for the tank and two quid. You know, so it, it's really, really good, and that's going to make the value for money really good. So, yeah, I mean, just brilliant device really really happy with this one how do you feel Tone? so yeah echoing what slack said for the price of the device with everything that's included in the package it's such an excellent value for money device i mean you just can't go wrong it covers all the bases right so that brings us to the end of the review for the ijoy reaper plus now you know like we said at the start of the review this is in the same arena as the crown as the heracles plus and it performs just as well as those they're all great tanks it's kind of hard to tell them apart they've got bits that are better on each one but you know this does stuff for better than the other two so you know it, great tank you can't go wrong for the money and it's a tank that i draw invested in there's tons of coil options there's a future for this so yeah i really like it and uh, i hope you've enjoyed this review yeah so thanks for watching uh we hope you've enjoyed this review hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and you enjoy what we're doing if you do please drop us a like and subscribe and listen to slack's tummy rumble some more because that's great the mic's right down here so it picks up any sort of farting and squeaking and anything like that i'm hungry i've been doing chocolate juice all night what do you expect i just watched him eat a plate full of dinner <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's more like he's digesting was, and he's got one brewing <laughs> dinner was pasta that's not chocolate i want chocolate damn it <laughs> right enough review yeah if you like what you're doing don't forget to follow us on the social medias we're on twitter facebook and instagram so yeah if you've got any questions hit us up here hit us up there but for now thanks very much for watching smog vlog Right, let's have a very quick look at the uh, Right, let's have a very quick look at the R bait oh, Jesus, teeth in. Ribbed for her pleasure. Here we have the Reaper ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> okay. Better? Yeah. Oh, I was thinking for you because you haven't got your glasses on. I have not. You keep making funny monkey face. <laughs> <laughs> Angry monkey face. <laughs> Potentially with feces in hand. <laughs> trust, trust me, it's funny. <laughs> Whether it's supposed to be. Yeah. Don't start. Oh, I'll just take it again. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your impatience just makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a what else can you adjust? <laughs> <laughs> I need a different shaved gorilla. <laughs> Come on. A trained shaved gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Next one house trained as well. Starts flinging poo everywhere. <laughs> Right, okay. It... <clears throat> oh, yum, 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 dum, dum, yum. Shush, I'm trying to word stuff. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of the words with you. Just up there. Just up there. You've got written dirty juice here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dirty sorry. juice. Next up on the cons list is um, the dirty juice that I've now got on my fucking brain. <laughs> dirty juice. <laughs> dirty juice dribbling down my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, now I need to wee. <laughs> Should have left before we left. I really should have. <laughs> More importantly for me, when we are out having a vape, you know, you don't have to pull a drip tip off. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you want this cock ring? <laughs> Delaying ejaculation cock ring. Right, come on. More importantly for me um, is the fact that when you take this up, oh fuck's sake, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that pulled your drinks off. <laughs> Too far. I've just seen Matt now sat in between both of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to delay ejaculation. And <laughs> get in there and you, it, it's all. Fuck. <laughs> Super two. Oh, can we add another con? The O ring on this drip tip is apparently shit. It was alright. I think we've melted it. Another pro though is Slack does enjoy pulling it off. <laughs> <laughs>